Hey guys, so it is currently quarter after eight in the evening on Sunday. I forgot to film for this week. Oops. So y'all really didn't miss much. Um, it's just been working. Uh, Saturday I did get a half day of work because um, I don't technically get Martin Luther King Jr. Day off like most people do uh, because my weekends are usually Sunday, Monday. So I would already be on my weekend tomorrow. So my boss decided that instead what we were gonna do was do a half day on Saturday and then a half day on Tuesday to make up for the fact that we couldn't have a full day off uh, paid for the holiday. Um, so that ended up working out pretty well actually. It's been a little touch and go work-wise. It's just been very chaotic in terms of like the fact that there's some days where we have a ton of appointments and I can't get a lot of my work done I need to because I have to cater to all of the appointments. And then there's some days where it's dead and I feel like, oh my gosh, I got everything I can get done, done and you know, stuff like that. So it's just been very like up and down. Um, but I am hopeful that this coming week is going to be a little bit better. Just there's some things that are going to be really rolling right coming up this next week that I'm excited for. But I wanted to hop on and at least do this clip. Um, first so that I can tell you guys what I've been working on. This whole week I've really been focusing on Rhythm of War by Brandon Sanderson. It has taken me so long to read this, probably going on two weeks, but I'm almost done with it. I have less than 100 pages left of this. I'm currently on sprints with my friends Brie, Brandy, and Adrian. Um, we are doing a 30th birthday celebration for Brandy, so happy birthday Brandy. I know I already said it to you, uh, but yeah. So I am actually in the middle of a sprint. We have about 22 minutes left of the sprint, and um, um, I want to try to get this done because I want to finally move on from that. I participated in the live show with Brie and Brandy earlier today as well, um, which was fun. We had a lot of a lot of fun with that. Um, but then after I finally finish out the Cosmere, I'm going to then move on to the fifth season by M.K. Jemison, which is going to have its own reading vlog because if you guys don't know, in the entirety of 2023, I am working through N.K. Jemison's catalog of books. And we are starting off with the Broken Earth trilogy, the first book being the fifth season. Now, I have heard nothing but great things about this series. That is why I wanted to start off my reading series with this series because of the fact that it is her most popular. And over the course of the year, we're going to read some other things that are not as popular of hers and rounding out the end of the year with her most recent work, which is the City We Became duology. I did this specifically because I wanted there to be, you know, immediate interest for the main series that like really a lot of people seem to love of hers. And then being able to then read other series of hers that people seem to like, but they might not be as popular. And then ending off the year where I read her most current work, because I thought that that made the most sense since The City We Became is a fairly new duology. It's her most recent work, that kind of thing. So very excited for this though, and this is a much smaller book than Rhythm of War, so I hopefully should get through this one a lot faster. Um, but I'm very excited because I've been meaning to read N.K. Jemisin for a long time, and I'm very excited to be able to get involved in this. And I will be hosting a live show for this the first weekend of February, which I'm really excited. So I'm going to try to do it where the first weekend of the next month will have the live show for these book club. The live show really is just going to be us talking about the book, um, some things that I thought about. I may have some friends on there, like I might get Brie and Brandy to do the live show with me if they're up for it, um, if they have time, um, or anyone that really wants to be a part of it. So if you are going to be a part of my MK Jemison read along and would like to participate and host the live show with me any given month, um, please feel free to let me know because I would love to have some co-hosts to have a very nice, fun discussion of these books. So. Anyway, uh, for right now, what I'm doing is I'm just going to basically continue with the rest of my evening and I'll let you guys know how Rhythm of War goes. I will say that this is my favorite of the entire series so far. If anything, it's interesting because this book almost makes me want to go back and restart 
the Stormlight Archive, which was hell for me, but for some reason this one is so good, it is making me want to go all the way back to the beginning of the Stormlight Archive and read the whole thing again. Robert is currently out for the evening. He went to his parents' house to go say hi and basically hang out with them and took Oscar, so I pretty much have the entire house to myself for probably at least the next couple of hours because I don't think he's going to head home until at least 10 o'clock. Um, he does have to go to work tomorrow though, so he's not going to be out all night. But at the very least, I've been able to this evening just chill out and just really like just have a nice evening to myself to decompress, hang out with some friends online and just be able to read, which I have not had a weekend like this in a while because when I've had a weekend to myself, it's been I just sleep the entire time because I'm exhausted. Whereas today, I spent pretty much six straight hours playing Dream Disney Dreamlight Valley while listening to Rhythm of War, and I had the best time of my life. Like, best day I think I've ever had, honestly. Like, just being able to rest and not do anything was the best decision I made for myself because I feel like I am one of those people who do not take the time to rest, and I feel like I am absolutely failing in my life if I do not do everything in a productive manner when I have the time to be productive. Like, I still got some stuff done around the house. Like, don't get me wrong. I was able to do a little bit of journaling today. I was obviously, like I said, able to read. I got dishes done today. My husband was the one that did the laundry, so he did all of that. And so, like, we haven't necessarily been unproductive. It's just been it's been easier for me to sit down and relax at the same time. And that's like a really big thing for me because I'm so bad about that. It is one of the things that I hate about my anxiety the most is that it does not let me just relax ever. Which reminds me, I did not take my medication today, so I need to make sure I go take that. So I'm gonna go do that real quick. And with that, I'm gonna head out for right now and continue with my audiobook and hang out on sprints. So I will though let you guys know when I officially finish Rhythm of War and what my final rating of it is. Good morning, everybody. It is going on quarter to noon on Monday. I have therapy in about 15 minutes, and I just wanted to quickly end this vlog here because, as I said, I didn't really get this started until yesterday, but I did finish Rhythm of War last night by Brandon Sanderson, finally, and I gave it a four out of five stars. This is my most favorite book of the series, and I feel like, like I said, I just want to go back now and reread the entirety of Stormlight Archive again because it was very difficult for me to get into the series, but I think, if anything, the big payoff I realized at the end was seeing a lot of the characters have, like, by the end of this one in particular, some good things happen, like with Kaladin um, and Shallan and Adolin and stuff like that. Um, I am excited to know that there is at least going to be another book. Like, I guess the Stormlight Archive is going to be, like, ten books, because um, so I was talking with uh, Brie about it last night after Sprints, and... I didn't realize that there was going to be 10 books in the Stormlight Archive, which is kind of bizarre to me. I don't know whether or not he's, Brandon is going to like break it up like he did with Mistborn at all, where there's like different eras, because at the very least, I know that there has to be a fifth book, because there's something that happens with Dalinar at the very end of Rhythm of War that basically leads into what I believe the fifth book will be, which I'm a little scared, <laughs> because... I have this distinct feeling that something bad is going to happen with Dalinar. Like, I don't know. But I don't really know what else is planned in terms of the rest of the Stormlight Archive. Um, it is probably going to not be until sometime later this year or even next year maybe that that book is going to come out because Brandon's got like a ton of books over the course of this year and next year coming out that have been planned. I don't know, but I'm happy to say that I finally finished what there is currently of the series, and I am excited to read more of it, especially since this one so far has become my most favorite, um, which I guess is pretty common with a lot of people who've read Brandon Sanderson and read the Stormlight Archive, is that Rhythm of War is like that one that a lot of people seem to really enjoy because 
I think in particular that one, with all of the fighting that goes on in it, it's so much more lively in some sense. Um, there's still a lot of like political stuff that gets brought up, but I feel like that this one, for a good majority of it, was a lot of battle, which makes sense because there was reasons as to why that happened that I don't want to get into. Um, but yeah, so anyway, really enjoyed that. Four stars, like, I'm finally done with it, so now I can move on to my next three, which I'm going to get started with uh, today after therapy, and that is the fifth season by N.K. Jemisin. Again, I'm going to have a video that's going to go into my reading of this book in particular. Rhythm of War gave me 200 points by itself with just page count, and it looks like still currently right now, the Dresden team, which is my team, is still in the lead at 707.14 points average. Um, and then Team Poirot seems to have pulled into second place with 522.50 points. And Sherlock is at 430 points even. So there's still a lot of time. We've still got two full weeks before, you know, everything comes to a head. Anyway, uh, that's going to be it. So thank you guys so much for joining me in this video. If you guys did enjoy it, please do give it a big thumbs up. And if you haven't already and you'd like to be and would like to see more content like this, go ahead and hit that button down below and subscribe to become an owl at Narflock. And I will see all of you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.